Hi there, it's Mrs. Drake with the trombone, and this is going to be book two, lesson two. And this video is for trombone, baritone, and French horn. Okay, so on lesson two, the new rhythm is two sixteenths and an eighth eighth note and I have the nickname of hopper grass. You might remember from lesson one it was grass hopper and then this one the two sixteenth notes come first so I consider it hopper grass. The two sixteenth notes remember have to be twice as fast um, as the TT. So if T T T T hopper 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 remember hopper always has to be twice as fast as T T. Okay, so on song one you can see that on this this is the trombone book. It's a bunch of B flats. So on number one, let's just say the rhythm. Let's not bother playing it. Of course you can, and I hope you already warmed up on your scales and all that. But on song number one, let's just say the rhythm. Let's just say let's just say the rhythm. Song number one. So it'd be T T Ta, hopper grass Ta. Okay, we take a look at song one. Ready, speak. T T ta, hopper grass ta. T T ta, hopper grass ta. Hopper grass, hopper grass, hopper grass, hopper grass. T T ta, hopper grass ta. And your tongue would have to match that speed. Okay. And now I do want to do another warm up. Could everybody flip over to page four? It's right next to that page four. I want to do the second one as a warm up. So everybody, take a look at page four. The second one down, the one called flexibility, and they're referring to the flexibility of your lips. These could also be called lip slurs. Okay, so everybody take a look at page four, the second one down called flexibility. All right, so trombones and baritones, do you see that the first three notes are all the same position? So trombone is first position, baritone horn is open. French horn, do you see that your first three notes are also no fingers? Okay, so this hit means you have to work your lips to get the notes to sound correct. All right, and every one of these measures is the same, meaning each measure you don't have to move your fingers, or for trombone, you don't have to move your arm in each measure. Okay, so the first time through, I would like to tongue it, tongue it all, don't do any of the slurs, and then we'll play it again, and you got to try to slur it. The slurs make it much more challenging. So on this one, I highly encourage you to play it first time through, flicking your tongue, and then go back and try to do it with the slurs, even trombone, because trombone, when you don't move your slide, if the notes are in the same slide position, you can do the slur. So trombones, remember this. If you have a slur marking where you don't have to move your slide, all you have to do is change the power of your lips, you can hold your breath and make it into a slur. Okay, everybody, um, page four, song number two. Um, French horns, your tones are a little bit different than mine, so you might want to do this without listening to the video. You can try it. Your, your song should go with us okay, but realize your tone on the French horn book is not going to exactly match the tone of my trombone in this situation. Okay, so we're on page four, the second one down called Flexibility. Warm up the first note. <laughs> Flick your tongue on all of it. Don't do the slurs. One, two, ready, go. Okay, so I did it without slurring. I highly recommend the first times you do that, that piece, you do it without the slurs. I'm going to move on to the assignment lesson two, but if you feel like you're getting pretty good at that one, try it with the slurs. It does make it much more challenging. Okay, everybody, back to lesson two. Hopper grass. Everybody, lesson two, song two. Lesson two, song two. Hopper grass, tee tee. Hopper grass, tee tee. Check the key signature. Check the key signature. The baritones and the trombones have B flat, E flat, and A flat. And there is an A flat in measure four. So remember, for, for trombone, it's going to be third position. For baritone, it's going to be first finger. Um, French horns, your key signature is B flat, E flat. 
So your very, very first note, French horns, is B flat, first finger. And in measure five, you have to play E flat. And remember, E flat is middle finger. So guys, you got to know for yourself, do you have a good memory? Can you remember these fingers? You, can you remember the key signature? Um, feel free to write in your music. Use pencil, but it's totally okay to write reminders in your music. It's better than playing a wrong note, okay? So you got to know your own mind. Do you need to write reminders? If you do, go ahead. Okay, song number two. Everybody warm up the beginning. Popper grass tea tea. Everybody get ready for song two. Ready, go. Now this one they blend, they have a lot more hopper grasses in it, yep, yep, yep. Uh, same key signature. Okay, all right, song number three, again, warm up the beginning, song three. Okay, everybody, song three. Ready, go. Okay, song four. As you scan through it, do you see it's all the same note? So I just want to chant this one. In other words, I'm not going to play it. We're just going to say the grasshoppers. And on this one, they blend the grasshoppers with hopper grasses. So scan through number four for a second. Can you tell which one is which? Okay, so song four, I'm going to just chant the rhythm, and I encourage you to chant it along with me. Grasshopper. That's going to be the speed. Song four. Ready, go. Grasshopper, grasshopper, hopper, grass, ta. Hopper, grass, grasshopper, ti, ti, ta. Grasshopper, hopper, grass, grasshopper, hopper, grass, grasshopper, ti, ti, ta. Kind of challenging. Okay, now on song number five, they blend the grasshoppers with the hopper grasses. So look through it, see if you can tell which one is which. Also on song five, check the key signature. Trombones and baritones, you only have B flat. That means the E's have to be second position or second finger, and the A's have to be second position or second finger. French horn, let's see, your key signature on song number five is, is uh, all naturals. So the one that might get you is the low B. Low B is gonna be middle finger. And French horns, notice it drops to low A. In measure six, the last note of measure six is a low A. We haven't played that in a while, but I want to remind you low A is first finger and second finger, but you blow really gentle to let it come down really deep. Okay, so song number five, check your key signature. Again, feel free to write reminders in if you think you might play a wrong note or forget the key signature. Song number five, everybody warm up the first full measure. <laughs> Okay, everybody, song five. Ready, go. Okay, song six, song six. Check the key signature. The trombones and the baritones have three flats, B flats, E flats, and A flats. The French horn has B flats and E flats. French horn, take a look, yours goes up high. Um, it goes up to high C, and then the first note of the third measure is high D, and that's first finger. Again, if you think you're gonna forget, feel free to draw number one. High D is first finger. There's a few high Ds in this song. French horn, song six is a high song. And remember, you can do the slurs. The first time through, baritone and French horn, if you want to leave the slurs off, it does make it a little bit easier. But then I challenge you to try to get the slurs going. Trombone, please do not do any of the slurs. Trombones, don't do any of the slurs. 
Okay, bare tones and trombones on song six. Look at the second to last note. It's low G. We haven't done low G in a while. I want to remind you, a trombone, it's fourth position, but let it drop really deep. And baritone, it's first finger and second finger, but again, let it drop really deep. It's called low G, low G. Feel free to write those reminders in. Okay, everybody, song six, warm up the first measure. <laughs> Okay, song six. Ready, get set, go. on that last note so I hope you looked at me and waited for me to cue it off the last note had that arch over the top that means you hold it as long as the director wants all right Alrighty. I noticed that I fumbled a little bit on measure nine so what I'm writing is I'm writing the word look at the end of measure eight I'm writing the word look because what I noticed is I fumbled a little bit when I transitioned from measure eight into measure nine because you have to switch lines so I noticed I fumbled a little bit so I'm not going to do that again I'm not going to make a mistake again so I wrote the word look so meaning the next time I play this song I will know that I better look quickly down to the next line because it's challenging um, alrighty, so um, the night returns, the bottom of page five. I want to remind you that the last song on every lesson has a um, recording that goes along with it. The recording is a full band with drums and trumpets and flutes and trombones and baritones and French horns and everything playing it all together. So when you feel like you got the bottom song in this situation, it's the night returns. When you feel like you have it mastered, I encourage you to play along with that recording and I already sent you a link to those recordings. Okay, night returns, check the key signature. Remember trombones, please don't do the slurs. Um, there is some staccato marks that I'm noticing. Remember, don't feel that you have to do it. It means to clip them short. Um, I'm not picky about that in elementary school. Of course, check your key signature. French horn, your part is a little bit different than this um, part that I'm playing on the trombone. Um, it should go along with it nicely, but realize sometimes your rhythms and sometimes your tones that you have are not exactly the same. It should still sound okay, but it doesn't match exactly to the trombone part. Okay, everybody, find the first note of The Night Returns. I'm looking ahead, there's some hopper grass. Hopper grass, hopper grass. So the ta's are going to be slow. Ta, ta, ta. Okay, everybody, the night returns. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> you to play that one with the recording. Okay, that was lesson two.